Let the fiery foreign food frenzy begin. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. You you good? <laughs> Just in time to slang some darts. Now let's get the blood back to my brain. Whoa, man, I am really intimidated. Oh my gosh. Oh. How's it feel? It still hurts. Can but it, so I can't. No, you, you can tap it, but my doctor says that I'm healing nicely. You're healing nicely. I, you did um, a good job healing. I technically have uh, a few more weeks before my bone has completely achieved union. Before I, can, before I can fully frog you? <laughs> before you can fully frog me. But I'm just glad to be out of the sling and into the real world and um, of slinglessness. We're all proud of you, Link. You've done it, you made it through. Oh my gosh. Like I said, just in time to sling some darts. So, celebrate with me, hopefully celebrate a win, you know, now that I got my, yeah. my new arm back. Did you know? People take their heat differently all around the world, and to, to be clear, I'm talking about uh, food not Fahrenheit. Okay, but it is 68 degrees in Nairobi right now, 31 in Prague, and 81 in Rio de Janeiro, so you're sure you're not talking about Fahrenheit? I keep up with all the temps. Well, I thought I was talking about the rich variety of spicy food the world has to offer, five of which we're going to sample today, but maybe you're right. Oh, nope. Actually, I think you're right because it's time for Where, Where in, in the, the world, world do these international, international spicy, spicy foods come from? Hmm. We're gonna throw a dart at the country we think each spicy dish that we're gonna eat came from and then chase the Hot Topic cartographer. He's here to measure how far our darts are from the correct answer. Uh, he's, 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 already, he's already laughing. Be su <laughs> why, are you, why are you being silly? You gotta be solid. Can you, can you ask me if I need any help? No. Yeah, exactly. Have you been in a hot topic lately? <laughs> All right. Um, whoever has the lowest score will be named the Spice Principal of GMM High and will dress accordingly during Good Mythical More. Okay. Um, I have won the last nine in a row, uh, which is a record. It ties the record. So I could set a new record. Ten in a row. That would be the new streak. I mean, that's what's on the line today. But I can't let that happen. It's going to be... Really difficult to do because not only do you have a, a cheat that you're gonna get, which is at one point of your choosing, uh, you're gonna be able to get Chase to write out to sp In character! Look at him. Hold on, Chase like, is helping you with the cheat here and you're throwing darts at him. Years. He knew I wasn't going With ahead. a recently healed shoulder. Just keep that in mind. I got you. Anyway, Chase is going to write the name of the country on the back of Link's back, just once. And also, oh. every single round, I'm gonna get a five centimeter penalty, penalty, not penalty. penalty. It's actually a penalty. It's a penalty. If I cannot name the capital of the correct country after the correct country is revealed, okay? So I gotta know like geographical facts, man. But I don't. Nope, you don't. Let's do it. Ooh, we got a juicy one, Link. It's like a sub that's been doused in sauce. So it's some sort of a meat. I'm gonna fork it and knife it. Oh, are you using a? Well, maybe I won't, I don't have a knife, I'll just fork it. Put some lime on the end there. How spicy is today gonna be? I'm a, uh, I'm a little in, intrepid. N Nicole said it would get intense. Oh gosh. Okay. Well. I'm feeling a burn already. It's like some sort of sliced beef, pork perhaps? I believe it's pork. <clears throat> it's a spicy pork. <laughs> Tomato based sauce. With some lime on it. it. Oh, that's part of the bread. 
Okay. That's called the crust. And then just uh, red onions. Well, let's it, take a look at the map over here. What do we have? Mexico, Peru, Falkland Islands. Oh, you want to name all the countries? No, well, I just named those three. Um, okay, I'm torn. Like Natalie Imbrugula. <laughs> yeah. Can't sing it though. Uh, <laughs> Portugal, Peru, or Mexico, right? I think it actually might be Portugal just because of the pork and the first three letters of pork and Portugal are the same. Uh, call me crazy. I, I like that kind of rationale. I feel like if this was a Mexican thing, I would have had, well, first of all, it's like kind of like it has a Berea quality to it. How do you say it? Uh, torn. I'm sorry, I'm laughing Imbrugula. at Chase who appeared to be scared by his own hair flip that <laughs> he attempted. He's, a, he's, he's adjusting to his new look. So uh, Portugal, Mexico, or Peru, uh, and I'm not confident, so I'm gonna go for the Bermuda Triangle. What? Oh, and is that where the Bermuda Triangle no, is? No, I don't think so. It's a little low. Okay. I really like what you had to say about pork and porked being like different by only one letter. I was thinking some South American flair, some Peru. If I go with Peru, it's kind of out there on its own, only there with Mexico. But if I go all the way with Portugal, but I really like what you said. Did I tell you that? Poor Portugal. But Port now Portugal. that I'm saying that and you know, sometimes I call it porkable. You're watching Portugal. and you know the answer, and it's Peru. You're upset with me because you didn't fully commit. That I didn't fully commit, so I'm fully committing to Peru. Oh, okay. Well, you you kind of triangulated. Mexico Maybe it's Mexico. And Peru. Could I take the early lead? You just had a drowned sandwich, aka a torta ahogada. Oh, it is a Mexico. Dang. Sandwich consisting of a crunchy yet soft roll filled with fried pork and onions, then drowned in a spicy salsa. They were invented by accident when a street vendor mistakenly dropped a sandwich in salsa, and they've since become a local delicacy in Jalisco, Mexico. Ha <laughs> ha! I got luckier than you. Do you guys notice I'm wearing red hot chili peppers? I like that. Yeah. That's cool, man. Uh, sit back and hey oh, listen what I say oh, and that's the points. Rhett, you have 19, <laughs> and Link, you have six. Wow, oh, big early lead. And you but, might be about to expand on that lead because I have to tell you the capital of Mexico. Mm -hmm. I would assume it's Mexico City. So I'm gonna say Mexico City. Correct. Woo! Okay. All right, okay, that's fine, you earned it. <sighs> Thank you. Uh. What? We've got some jiggly bits. Is this, is this fat? <laughs> yes. I don't think it's fat, bro. Is it seafood? It's sort of like in the same family as a, to as a tofu in presentation, but not made from the same thing. All right. I might be digging a huge grave for myself here, <coughs> but I'm thinking Indonesia. Thank you for the milk. You're welcome. Should I just commit to the answer? Should I just commit to Indonesia? If I'm wrong, I'm gonna be digging myself out of a big hole the whole time. Mm-hmm. <sighs> just commit. Okay. Did I hit it? Did I hit Indonesia? I think you almost hit it. And I was thinking Indonesia because the- So close. So close. Well, the spices are like, I don't know. It would be, it would be nice on a dumpling. Maybe that means I'm saying China then. Hold on, you know what? I, guys, what? I wasn't supposed to go first because Link took the lead. We just we forgot. We're oh. so we're so unaccustomed to him having the lead. <sighs> I think. What would you it, have said if I hadn't I gone there okay. first? What would you have done? Honestly, I would have said probably what I just said <laughs> because I just probably say what, I, what just I said. I say what I think. Like I said, I was thinking Indonesia, and then I was thinking about soup dumplings, and then I was. Okay, all right. I'll I choose to believe you. China. Oh, I went a little weak. Okay. You just had Shang Sin Liang Fin, a okay. noodle dish made from mung bean starch that literally transla translates to heartbreak jelly because people are said to burst into tears when they eat it. This cold dish earned its moving reputation in China. 
Mung bean what? Starch. Jelly. Starch. One time I had that dish under the bridge. That's a... <laughs> that's a <laughs> I know what yeah, yeah, That's a famous uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers song, guys. Rhett had 13. Link, <laughs> Link had 11. All right. Okay, but I gotta say the ti- I gotta say yes, the title. Do. The title. The capital. The title of China. The capital of China is Beijing. Correct. Yes. Okay, you're good with your capitals. I'm good with my capitals, but I'm, I'm bad with my guessing. But you gotta go first next time, man. I will. I will. This is interesting looking. You've got like a bread egg. Oh my gosh! In the middle, and you just. Nicole said we could grab it with our hands, which we are doing, or that you could also eat it with a fork, which I'm ultimately gonna do that. Mm. So what is all this, what, there's a certain type of bean on this? Whoa, okay. It's cold. I got a little spicy. And it's veggie. There's like green peppers. I like this. You know what, I I think of this as like a an African goulash, hmm. which, um, you know, I'm prone to order when going to the Mali restaurants that I frequent. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not familiar with Mali. Like I didn't know that was a country. Sorry, Mali. Maybe it's not. Hmm. I'm gonna save my lifeline and go for Mali. I, I, I believe it's, we've eaten this type of bread before, this like type of bread, and it was African. So that's where I'm going. Come on, Mali. I'm just getting to know you. Didn't know you existed before this moment. Oh yeah, pretty close too. Damn. Yeah, give me that fart hand. Oh, I, I'm, I'm displeased because I think you're right. <laughs> See? Um, so the first thing I was thinking, it's interesting that you said goulash. When it came out, I was thinking hungry. But then when I, once Nicole explained what, as she handed it off, what this was and to use it to eat with, yeah, the I African eating with I the have, breads. I have not seen that done in, in Hungary. I guess it could have made it to South Africa, but I think my best bet That's is it. to try to get closer to Mali. Than me? Good luck with than that. you. Oh, oh. Oh, further away. All right, all right. I like where, I like where I'm sitting, Stevie. You just had Chakalaka. Legend has it that it was developed by mine workers who'd pair whatever vegetables they had with beans to make a relish to eat alongside their pap bread. It has since become a spicy staple at barbecues and celebrations in South Africa. Oh, I, should, I could have gone lower. I'm proud of my guests, though. I'm proud of your guests, too. And you had 18. Rhett, you had 20. Dang, Lee, you've won every round. Yes, I so, have. So, Rhett, for South Africa... There are actually three capitals. Oh, come on. There's executive, legislative, and judicial. You just need to name one. No, I think he needs to name the executive. <laughs> the executive capital. Well, if there's three, there's got to be one in Cape Town. So, Correct. That's the legis- legislative. That's not the right one. That's not the one we're looking for, though. Okay. All right. Hey, you're winning, dude. What's, enjoy it. What's Well, I, I've learned I'll to name- not enjoy winning. Before I've won. Do you want me to name three uh, South African cities? What's your second guess? Yeah. Pretoria. 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 Yeah. Wow. I'm impressed. That's That's... the executive. Okay. And the legislative? No, judicial. Judicial? Gosh, I can't say it. Judicial. It's got to be Johannesburg, right? No. That's right. (laughs) It's not? I might say this incorrectly. Bloemfontein? You didn't. Oh, Bloemfontein, yes. That's right. <laughs> That's a very nice hoodie you're wearing, Link. Thank you. If you want to get this Be Your Mythical Best hoodie, it's got three-dimensional embroidery. Ha! <laughs> you can get it in this dusty sage green. Oh, sorry, Or you dusty. can get it in charcoal heather gray. I really like the dusty sage green. It's like, it's got a, a soothing quality to it that really makes you want to be your mythical best. And if you light it on fire and take it around the perimeter of your home, it'll ward off evil spirits. Mm-hmm. Mythical.com. Look Sage. at that. Look at that. This is yellow. Okay, what do we got here? So we got some sliced eggs here, but is that? That's a potato. A tater, okay. Okay, and then there's some corn bits. I'm not gonna be shy about getting some sauce because if it's spicy, I wanna know it. It's got a little kick to it. 
Oh, okay. It's got a lot of kick to it. It definitely builds. The potato helps. It's nice to have something real spicy on a potato. What is that flavor, though? How would you describe it? It's got a sweet corn puree type thing happening. Um, yellow potatoes. Hungry? Shoot. Could be Peru. It's, it's like a South American spice heat. I just... I'm being pulled to Peru. I gotta pulled go there. to Peru. Peru, all the way. Oh shoot, I should've gone to the right of it. But, okay. What are you thinking, man? The corn, the, the corn is the only piece of this. That, maze. That, that pulls me to Peru. It, I call it maize. Uh, but I think corn has made it around the globe. This kind of, I don't know, this sort of like, this, is just a just potatoes with a sauce on it over lettuce kind of thing. It has this sort of like Scandinavian, like, I don't know about this kind of quality to it. Finland? Yeah. But also, it may be hungry. Finland. Oh, thanks for thanks for handing me my dart. I feel good about Finland for you. It could be hungry, because I, 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 you know. That's the first my, thing I said. My short time in Eastern Europe, I noticed some mm, things like this, like at, a, like at breakfast almost. I'm gonna kind of triangulate Finland and Hungary here and maybe accidentally hit one because I'm not too accurate. Oh. oh. I like that, I, I like too, that. Too high. You just had Papa a la Juan Kaina. It's debated oh, whether the cheese sauce covered dish began as a meal served cheese to railroad, r- railroad workers by the local women or if it began as a dish served to passengers at train stations after the railroad had been completed, but there's no debating that this dish hails from Peru. Dang yes! It. Yes! I'm going to tell my family to start watching again. Oh, <laughs> man, I wanted to get to ten in a row! Yeah, Link, don't stop. You're addicted to the shindig. Chop, stop. You're going to win big. Yep. I don't know if he's referencing the salad place. Yep. You had seven. And Rhett, you had a lot more than that. Oh, Yours was like uh, 47. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. What? Oh. And how about that capital? Oh, yeah. <laughs> how about that capital? I know one city in Peru, and it is Lima, so that is my guess. Correct. Good, you know okay. what? <laughs> <laughs> We have a bright yellow bowl of some sort of what is going on? Curry ish. You can feel the heat coming off of that. Is that some sort of fish? Mm. Okay, okay, okay. It's hot. Is that cheese? <laughs> wow, well, it's cheese and peppers. <laughs> I didn't take any of the um, rice. Rice. Well, you should have. Because I, I just feel like I'm on top of the world here, but I'm. Mm. It, it's spicy, but boy, it's good. It's good. Uh, That's my favorite one so far. It's just wicked peppers and onions, cheese, and some sort of oily broth. Okay. So I'm going first. Um, I'm up 57 points. What's the penalty for missing the board entirely? 50. So yeah. even if you n- n- nailed it. Right. And I'm, like, I've won. I've, I, I've already won. Well, not technically. Because if you miss the board, you would get 50, but you can technically get higher than 50 if you miss it by. Like, exactly. You know it, what? I'm if just, it was I'm Indonesia just gonna... and you went to the far corner, you could potentially, the smartest thing for you right. to do is to miss the board. Right, I could just do that. You know? Huh. I don't know how I feel now, about that. Uh, oh, is that your throw? Well, you know, I don't want to go out like that, just decimating you. I'd like to give you a fighting chance. That's right. This is if, so, decimation. So, yeah, that's my throw. Oh. But here's the thing. Chase is about to measure from the map. Just I, want, so you know. I, want you, I want you to see if you can hit that little cross section of a pepper. That thing, yes. And in addition to retaining him being able to write the correct answer on my back, next time we play, I would like another advantage next time. Well, no, because when you lose, like I'm about to, I get the advantage next time. Then I, well, okay. You're, you're saying you he, get the he, advantage, but he gets to write on my back, and that's not your advantage. So you also get an I'm advantage. I'm keeping next that time. advantage. I'll take it. 
Is yeah. that a deal? That's a deal. Okay. Uh, okay, so my guess, which is a bit unoriginal, uh, is India. It might be, it feels Himalayan in general, so maybe it's Nepal, but I don't know the capital of Nepal. <laughs> so, okay, but that's not really what's at question. Oh man, I just, I've just been so off. Oh no. All right, Stevie, what is it? You just had Ima Datsi, a simple stew consisting of chili and cheese, traditionally yak cheese to be exact. It has gained popularity in some neighboring countries, but it's only the national dish of its native country, Bhutan. 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 You were in the right area. Mm, it's very good. Link, you had 50 and Rhett, 44. <laughs> wow. Which means... Well, and Rhett? Of course, the capital of Bhutan. Bhutan City. <laughs> <laughs> right? Is that it? Close. Tampu. Ah, Tampu. Tampu. Yes, I always forget that. I would, I would like to thank everyone who believed in me and, and never wavered over the nine episodes of me losing. Yeah. I lost belief in myself. Yeah. At many points along the way. We all did. <laughs> but thank you for sticking by my side. Um, the. The playing field has been leveled, or at least the score has been reset. I did not let him make a new record, and now I'm on my way to making a new record. That's right. I have won one in a row. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Kennedy. And I'm Reagan. We're from Oklahoma City, and it's my 19th birthday. And we just played Where in the World Do These International Candies Come From? And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Happy birthday! I'm gonna throw a dart at those people talking in the background. <laughs> <laughs> That'll shut them up. <laughs> Click the top link. Oh. Watch us. <laughs> right in the windpipe. Watch us taste test spicy ice cubes and good mythical more. And to find out where the will of mythicality is gonna land. How can you forget to be your mythical best when it's embroidered on your chest? The new BYMB embroidered hoodies are available now at mythical.com.